DMP3 is widely used in utility industry. We have observed in recent years it's been used in water, in transportation, and power industry. We have been given with the tasks to configure and test the peer-to-peer -peer configuration from Honeywell RTU to Schneider RTU. We configured the Honeywell RTU to be DMP3 slave and the Schneider RTU to be the DMP3 master. Our objective is to send information between the two RTUs and be able to read information off each other as well for digital objects and analog objects. In this particular instance, we have configured the digital objects to be the DMP3 group 1 and variation 1 and analog objects to be in the uh, group 30 variation 2 which representing a digital objects in 8 bits and analog objects in 16 bits respectively. Our talented engineer Fing going to give us more details about the configuration he's created and the testing he's done so far. So this is the communication between the RTU 2020 from Honeywell and the Scala Pack 575 RTU from Schneider. So currently we have the Scala Pack set up as the master and the RTU from Honeywell set up as the slave. So we've got a few switches up here which we can communicate or we can set different values. So we have an analog input up here and a digital input here. And this would reflect accordingly to uh, certain outputs. So I've created some basic code in Control Edge Builder and the master configuration inside uh, the Scala Pack. So how DMP3 works is, or at least the peer communication. We have the master, the Scala Pack, um, define all the different points, different values, of what needs to be read from the Honeywell RTU. So all these points are read into a list. It doesn't matter if it's analog or binary. It's all read into the same list, which is then executed by a separate function block. So I can demonstrate that here. So up here, I've got a rising trigger block. I set the value to one. This will load the configuration in here, and then this should turn green. We can see here that the status is now 1. So this has loaded this object ID and uh, this particular point, so point 1, into uh, the peer read list. So this peer read list is then sent to this uh, peer execution block. So this executes the DMP3 requests for read lists and write lists. So we can read different variables from the RTU as well as write them. So to demonstrate this, we can um, use the switch over here. So there's the digital inputs. So if as soon as I turn this on, these lights on the other Scudder Pack RTU will turn on. So this is turning it on and then off again. Cool. So we can do the same thing with reading, writing analogs. So up here, we can see the, the number up here reflected accurately. So if I change this, it will be modified. So that's uh, 77 right there. And then I can look, go into our watch table here, and I can see that a 77 is, or a 7.7 .7 is reflected here. So one of the main issues we've had, or I've had while creating this, was firstly understanding the function blocks and how they work. So instead of having a single enable, so you think enable turns it on, but the enable is actually a trigger to send a request. So if you uh, toggle the enable on and off, we can uh, send multiple requests to retrieve data or uh, send data across the data other RTU. So troubleshooting communication is done through uh, we used Wireshark, so where, there we can see all the different packets which are sent between the two RTUs. So we had a another network switch which had a mirrored Ethernet port, so we can see the outgoing data from the master RTU, for example the requests. We can see DMP3 requests are being triggered 
and if the RTU is responding correctly or how we'd uh, expect them to respond according to our configuration. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video on DMP3. I hope this will give you some detailed understanding of how the DMP3 communication has been configured and tested. If you want to know more about DMP3, feel free to drop a comment and we'll be glad to answer your questions. Also, like and subscribe so you'll get the latest updates from us about SCADA engineering from ACE. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.